In video one, we defined microaggression and provided three strategies for interrupting them when they come up. Ask questions to get at any underlying assumptions. Acknowledge what happened to the person affected. Be an active bystander and explain to the person saying or behaving in a harmful way why their actions had a negative impact, even if unintentional. Microaggressions can be subtle and occur despite our best intentions. How do we know if we are saying and doing things that are harmful to others? In this video, we offer reflection questions to help us examine our own participation in microaggressions. What was my intention? What assumptions are behind what I said or did? What was the impact? Where are you from? From right around here. Yep, me too. But where are you really from? Um, me? Um, I was born and grew up here, in Wisconsin. The intention of this question might be to connect with someone new, but the underlying assumption is that this person doesn't look like they are from here, and the impact is they may feel othered or question if they belong. Microaggressions can invalidate or exotify someone's identity or imply stereotypical expectations, even when intended to be complimentary. Have you heard or even said any of these common microaggressions? What might the intentions, assumptions, and impacts be of each? Wow, you're so articulate. I feel so OCD today. Don't make him angry, he's a veteran. I can't say your name, I'll just call you Jay. Can I touch your hair? You want me to say they, them, or theirs when you're clearly a woman? Do you need a translator? You'd be prettier if you smiled more. If you're unsure why some of these statements can be considered microaggressions, use this as an opportunity to self-educate. What other microaggressions have you witnessed, experienced, or participated in? Noticing and addressing microaggressions is an ongoing process. By using these strategies and reflection questions, we can create a more inclusive environment for everyone. For additional resources or information on microaggressions, watch Microaggressions in the Classroom by Dr. Yolanda Flores-Neiman on YouTube.